The casting process for the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor was a meticulous task, overseen by renowned director Sidney Pollack. The film featured a star-studded cast, including Robert Redford, Faye Dunaway, and Max von Sydow. Robert Redford, already an established star, was chosen for the lead role of Joe Turner due to his ability to portray intelligent characters with everyman charm. His character required him to be believable as a bookish CIA researcher who becomes a reluctant action hero. Faye Dunaway, known for her striking beauty and acting prowess, was cast as Kathy Hale, a woman unwillingly drawn into the dangerous world of espionage. The chemistry between Redford and Dunaway was crucial, and their initial meeting reportedly sizzled with tension, ensuring they were the perfect pair for this thriller. Max von Sydow, the Swedish actor famous for his work in international cinema, was cast as the enigmatic assassin Jubert. His calm demeanor and piercing gaze made him an ideal choice for the role. Interestingly, Pollock had seen von Sido in a play and was so impressed that he wrote the part specifically for him. Cliff Robertson, a seasoned actor, played higher-up CIA agent Leonard Atwood. He brought a sense of authority and danger to the character, providing a stark contrast to Redford's more vulnerable protagonist. John Houseman, an esteemed figure in American theater and film, played the role of Higgins, the head of the CIA department where Turner works. His authoritative presence added credibility to the intelligence community setting. The casting process involved careful consideration of each actor's ability to bring depth to their characters and contribute to the overall tension and suspense of the film. Auditions focused on finding actors who could embody the intelligence, intrigue, and danger inherent in a spy thriller. Chemistry tests between potential leads were also vital to ensure the right dynamic for the film. <laughs> Sidney Pollack, the director of Three Days of the Condor, was known for his detailed and meticulous approach. He created a tense political thriller by blending multiple genres, including espionage and film noir. Pollack's creative influences included directors like Alfred Hitchcock and John Huston, which is evident in the film's suspenseful pacing and complex characters. His directorial style was characterized by a focus on realism and naturalism. He often used handheld cameras and location shooting to create a more authentic atmosphere. Pollock's collaborative spirit was also key to his success. He worked closely with his cast and crew, encouraging improvisation and discussion to enrich the final product. For three days of the Condor, Pollock cast Robert Redford, a popular actor known for his charisma and versatility. Pollock and Redford had a successful working relationship, having previously collaborated on Jeremiah Johnson. Pollock guided Redford to deliver a nuanced performance, balancing vulnerability and determination. The film's crew included cinematographer Owen Roisman, who helped create the film's distinct visual style. Pollock and Roisman used a muted color palette and high contrast lighting to enhance the film's tense and paranoid atmosphere. The result was a visually striking film that effectively conveyed its themes of surveillance and mistrust. In summary, Sidney Pollack's directorial vision for Three Days of the Condor was marked by his meticulous attention to detail, genre blending style, and collaborative approach. His creative influences, including Hitchcock and Houston, can be seen in the film's suspenseful pacing and complex characters. The film's success was also due to the strong collaboration between Pollack, Redford, and the rest of the cast and crew. We read adventures. The 1975 movie, Three Days of the Condor, is a classic political thriller that has stood the test of time. Its enduring qualities, such as its tight plot, tense atmosphere, and memorable performances, have made it an everlasting symbol of the industry. You might have your own cherished memory associated with this movie. Throughout this video, we'll share some fun, shocking, and sad facts about the movie that you might not know. So, keep watching. Do you remember the first time you saw Three Days of the Condor? What was your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Three Days of the Condor is a movie that has left a lasting impact on its audience. Its themes of paranoia, conspiracy, and survival continue to resonate with viewers today. Despite being over four decades old, the movie remains as captivating as ever. The movie's tight plot, and tense atmosphere keep viewers on the edge of their seats. The performances of the lead actors, Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway, are still remembered as some of their best work. 
The movie's twists and turns are as intriguing today as they were in 1975. So, whether you're a longtime fan of the movie or someone who's just discovered it, we hope you enjoy learning more about this classic political thriller. And don't forget to share your memories and experiences with us in the comments below. The 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor, directed by Sidney Pollack, was filmed in various locations in New York and Washington, D.C. The set design was a crucial aspect of the production, with the film's central location being the CIA headquarters. However, due to security reasons, the production team couldn't use the actual CIA building. Instead, they created a replica of the CIA's lobby and offices on a soundstage at the 30th Street Studio in New York. The film's locations included the iconic New York Public Library, Central Park, and the United Nations Building. The production team had to obtain permits and coordinate with the authorities to film in these public places, which posed logistical challenges. For instance, they had to shoot the scenes in the library during off hours to minimize disruption to the public. One innovative technique employed during production was the use of a new type of camera stabilization system called the Steadicam. This device allowed the camera operator to move smoothly while following the actors, creating a more dynamic and immersive viewing experience. The Steadicam was used in several scenes, including the chase sequence in Central Park. Another challenge the production team faced was creating the snowy landscape for the film's climax, which takes place in a snowy wilderness. To achieve this, they had to transport tons of snow to the filming location, which was a logistical feat. Overall, the production of Three Days of the Condor required careful planning, coordination, and innovative techniques to create the film's various settings and action sequences. Three Days of the Condor is a thrilling movie from 1975, directed by Sidney Pollack, that keeps you on the edge of your seat with its strong acting and intriguing storyline. The film features Robert Redford as Joe Turner, a CIA employee who works as a reader, tasked with analyzing and summarizing publications from around the world for the agency's computers. The movie takes a dark turn when Turner's entire office is massacred, and he becomes the target of the killers. This sets up a tense and suspenseful plot, as Turner goes on the run, trying to figure out who wants him dead and why. During his escape, he crosses paths with a sensitive and emotionally vulnerable woman, Kathy Hale, played by Faye Dunaway. Despite her initial apprehension, Kathy develops sympathy for Turner's situation and decides to help him. Three Days of the Condor has one of the most memorable openings in thriller history, with the brutal and clinical assassination of the CIA readers. This opening scene leaves a lasting impression and sets the tone for the rest of the movie, creating a sense of despair that lingers throughout the film, except for a few brief moments of respite. Redford delivers a solid performance, showcasing his range as an actor, transitioning smoothly from his clean-cut, golden boy image to a more weathered and leathery look. Dunaway is equally impressive, handling a challenging role with ease and displaying a wide range of emotions. Her performance is particularly notable during a scene where she lets out a blood-curdling scream upon seeing Redford shoot an attacker. The film also features Max von Sydow as an icy assassin and Cliff Robertson as a slick and slimy agency operative. Both actors deliver noteworthy performances, despite some questionable hairstyle choices, particularly towards the end of the movie. Three Days of the Condor excels in creating a sense of fear and mistrust towards the government, while still remaining entertaining and believable. The film is punctuated with moments of humor, often delivered through Dunaway's character, which provides a welcome contrast to the otherwise tense atmosphere. The movie's New York City locations add authenticity and flavor to the film, immersing the viewer in the story. However, the music score is a bit of a letdown, feeling dated and occasionally inappropriate, even detracting from the overall experience at times. In conclusion, Three Days of the Condor is a must-watch for fans of the thriller genre. Its strong acting, suspenseful plot, and thought-provoking themes make it a timeless classic that continues to resonate with audiences today. CNA, Mrs. Coleman speaking. This is Harold Thomas, Mrs. Coleman. Customer service requesting a CNA on... The creation of the score and soundtrack for Three Days of the Condor was a collaborative effort between director Sidney Pollack and composer Dave Grusin. The music plays a crucial role in complementing the film's narrative and emotional tone. Grusin's score is a mix of jazz and electronic elements, which reflects the film's 1970s setting 
and its themes of surveillance and paranoia. The music often underscores the tension and uncertainty in the plot, but it also provides moments of emotional depth and intimacy. Gruzin used a variety of instruments, including synthesizers, pianos, and guitars, to create a unique sound for the film. He also incorporated elements of popular music from the 1970s, such as funk and soul, to give the score a contemporary feel. One of the most memorable pieces of music in the film is the main title theme, which features a haunting piano melody and a subtle electronic beat. The theme sets the tone for the film and establishes its unique soundscape. Gruzin's score also complements the film's emotional tone, particularly in the character-driven scenes. For example, the music during the scenes between Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway's characters is more subdued and introspective, reflecting their growing relationship and the emotional turmoil they experience throughout the film. The soundtrack also includes several popular songs from the 1970s, such as Sultans of Swing by Dire Straits and Sweet Revenge by Johnny Cash. These songs provide a contrast to Gruzin's score and add to the film's sense of realism and cultural authenticity. Overall, the music in Three Days of the Condor is a key component of the film's success, enhancing the narrative and emotional tone in subtle and effective ways. Gruzin's score and the included popular songs create a unique and memorable soundtrack that has stood the test of time. Faye Dunaway, known for her role in Three Days of the Condor, has shared the screen with Marlon Brando in Don Juan de Marco and played a villain in Supergirl. She appeared in the same book and film as Robert Redford, who was voted the 30th greatest movie star by Entertainment Weekly. Redford's character in Out of Sight, released in 1998, was mentioned during a dialogue between Jennifer Lopez and George Clooney. I'm to be familiar with a very tall gentleman, about six foot four, blonde hair, strong like a farmer, not American. One of the most iconic scenes in Three Days of the Condor is the Turnpike Shootout. Director Sidney Pollack uses a combination of handheld and stationary cameras to create a sense of chaos and tension. The rapid cuts between the shooters and Turner heighten the audience's anxiety. Redford's performance is crucial here as he embodies a sense of vulnerability and fear, making the audience empathize with his character. Another memorable scene is the encounter between Turner and Kathy in her apartment. Pollock uses close-ups to capture the character's emotions, and the muted color palette adds to the scene's intimacy. Dunaway's performance is noteworthy. She portrays a woman caught in a dangerous situation with subtlety and depth. The climactic scene at the United Nations headquarters is also iconic. Pollock uses wide shots to showcase the grandeur of the location, while the tight close-ups of Turner and Higgins heighten the tension. The use of natural light adds a sense of realism, making the scene more intense. Robertson's performance is chilling. He portrays a man willing to kill for national security with a frightening calmness. These scenes have had a significant impact on audiences due to their suspenseful storytelling, compelling performances, and innovative cinematography. They have become etched in the minds of viewers, contributing to the film's enduring popularity. In the 1975 film Three Days of the Condor, Paramount initially wanted to emphasize the CIA aspect in advertising, but Robert Redford and Sidney Pollack insisted on focusing on the people and atmosphere. Redford had previously dropped out of the verdict, as he didn't want the character to be perceived as a loser, leading to Paul Newman taking on the role and receiving an Oscar nomination. Interestingly, Russell Johnson, who appeared in Three Days of the Condor, was the last surviving male cast member of Gilligan's Island until his death in 2014. Damn time tonight. Third time? It's some creepy burglar case hey, in the joint. I want you to get out. The 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor had a significant cultural and social impact, particularly in its exploration of government surveillance and conspiracy theories. The film resonated with audiences who were becoming increasingly concerned about issues of trust and transparency in the wake of Watergate. The movie's protagonist, a CIA researcher who stumbles upon a conspiracy within his own agency, struck a chord with viewers who were beginning to question authority and the role of government in their lives. The film's themes of paranoia and mistrust were reflective of the cultural zeitgeist of the 1970s and helped to shape popular perceptions of the intelligence community. Three Days of the Condor also had a notable impact on pop culture, with its depiction of a lone hero fighting against a powerful 
and shadowy organization becoming a popular trope in films and television shows that followed. The movie's use of New York City as a backdrop and its gritty, realistic style helped to establish a new aesthetic in American cinema. Furthermore, the film contributed to discussions on relevant social and cultural themes, such as the dangers of unchecked power and the importance of whistleblowing. It raised questions about the role of the media in holding those in power accountable and the need for transparency in government. Overall, Three Days of the Condor had a lasting impact on both the cultural and social landscape, helping to shape popular perceptions of the intelligence community and contributing to important discussions about power, transparency, and accountability. Robert Redford has had a notable career in the film industry, both as an actor and a director. In the realm of acting, he has appeared in five films penned by screenwriter William Goldman, including Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid, The Hot Rock, The Great Waldo Pepper, All the President's Men, and A Bridge Too Far. As a director, Redford has added two Academy Award-winning films to his resume Ordinary People and The Sting, in which he also acted. Interestingly, Redford was offered the lead role in Stanley Kubrick's Barry Lyndon, but turned it down, and Ryan O'Neill was cast instead. Redford's decision to decline the role is a testament to his selectivity in choosing projects that resonate with him. Apart from his work with Goldman and Kubrick, Redford has left his mark in other significant ways. For instance, he is the only person, along with his abridged Too Far co-star Laurence Olivier, to act in and direct different Academy Award for Best Picture winners. Olivier's contributions include his role as Maximilian de Winter in Rebecca and his direction of Hamlet, in which he also played the title role. Redford, on the other hand, played Johnny Hooker in The Sting and Denny's Finch Hatton in Out of Africa and directed Ordinary People. Redford's impact on the film industry is undeniable, and his work continues to endure, captivating audiences and inspiring filmmakers to this day. Today? I don't remember yesterday. Three Days of the Condor, a 1975 political thriller film, received favorable reviews from critics and gathered a positive response from the audience. The movie was directed by Sidney Pollack and featured Robert Redford as the lead actor. It revolves around a CIA researcher who stumbles upon a dangerous conspiracy within the agency. The New York Times' critic, Vincent Canby, praised the film for its tense, exciting, and witty narrative, while Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times commended the film for its tightly controlled suspense and superbly accomplished performances. These reviews highlight the film's ability to engage the audience with its intriguing storyline and strong performances. Three Days of the Condor was also recognized with several award nominations. It was nominated for an Edgar Allan Poe Award for Best Motion Picture, recognizing its exceptional screenplay. Additionally, the film's editor, Frederick Steinkamp, received an Academy Award nomination for Best Film Editing, showcasing the movie's technical prowess. These accolades are significant for those involved in the film, as they validate the hard work and creativity invested in the project. The positive reception from critics and audiences alike has helped establish Three Days of the Condor as a classic political thriller. While the award nominations have further solidified the film's reputation as a high-quality production, the film's success has also contributed to the careers of its director, Sidney Pollack, and lead actor, Robert Redford, by showcasing their ability to deliver captivating and thought-provoking cinema. Max von Sydow, a talented actor, is fluent in several languages, including Swedish, English, French, and Italian. Robert Redford has appeared in three significant films, Butch Cassidy and The Sundance Kid, The Sting, and All the President's Men. The CIA cover in Three Days of the Condor involves Faye Dunaway's character, named Catherine Hale, a Canadian poet, critic, and short story writer, whose real name was Amelia Beers Warnock. These facts add depth to the movie, shedding light on the actors' accomplishments and the characters they portray. During the filming of Three Days of the Condor in 1975, several interesting anecdotes offer a glimpse into the production. The film's director, Sidney Pollack, and lead actor, Robert Redford, had a mutual respect for each other, which contributed to their smooth working relationship. 
However, Redford was initially hesitant to accept the role due to his dislike for the script's violence. Pollock eventually convinced him by emphasizing the film's exploration of political paranoia and espionage. The film's crew faced logistical challenges while shooting in New York City. To capture the iconic scene of Redford's character, Joe Turner, hiding among tourists in Central Park, the production team had to obtain permission from the city to close a section of the park. They also had to coordinate with the NYPD to ensure the safety of the cast and crew during filming. In another instance, a scene required Redford's character to enter a building using a fake ID. The film's prop department created a realistic-looking driver's license, but when they presented it to the building's security guard, he became suspicious and refused Redford entry. The situation was resolved when the production team explained the situation and assured the guard that it was merely a prop for a film. During the filming of a car chase scene, a stunt driver lost control of the vehicle and crashed into a storefront. Fortunately, no one was injured, but the incident caused a delay in the production schedule. Despite these challenges, the cast and crew remained dedicated to creating a compelling political thriller. The film's success can be attributed to the talent and hard work of everyone involved, as well as the intriguing storyline that resonated with audiences during a time of heightened political tension. Max von Sydow, known for his roles as Jesus, and Satan, as well as the title character in The Exorcist, has been nominated for two Oscars but hasn't won. On the other hand, Robert Redford, who turned down leading roles in several films such as Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf, The Graduate, Rosemary's Baby, Love Story, and The Day of the Jackal, has won an Academy Award for Ordinary People and an Honorary Award. Faye Dunaway, Cliff Robertson, and John Houseman have also won Oscars for acting, while Max von Sydow won the Best Supporting Actor Award from the Kansas City Film Critics for his role in Three Days of the Condor. Interestingly, despite being the only one without an Oscar, von Sydow was the only actor who won an award for this film. Set down the gun on the desk. Released in 1975, Three Days of the Condor is a political thriller directed by Sidney Pollack with Robert Redford starring as a CIA researcher who stumbles upon a conspiracy within the agency. The movie is notable for its tense atmosphere, intricate plot, and exploration of government surveillance and manipulation, which were groundbreaking at the time. The film's influence can be seen in subsequent political thrillers and spy movies, such as The Parallax View, All the President's Men, and Marathon Man. These films share similar themes and stylistic elements with Three Days of the Condor, such as a focus on investigative journalism, paranoia, and the abuse of power. Moreover, the film's exploration of surveillance and privacy has become even more relevant in today's digital age, where concerns about data collection and government spying are at the forefront of public discourse. The film's themes have inspired contemporary works such as the TV series Mr. Robot, which explores similar issues of surveillance, privacy, and corporate power. Three Days of the Condor has also had an impact on the broader culture, with its portrayal of a lone hero fighting against a corrupt system becoming a popular trope in fiction and film. The film's influence can be seen in a wide range of media, from action movies to video games, where the protagonist is often pitted against a powerful and shadowy organization. Overall, Three Days of the Condor has left a lasting legacy in film history, inspiring future filmmakers, and shaping the political thriller genre. Its exploration of surveillance, privacy, and power continues to resonate with audiences today, making it a timeless classic. Robert Redford, known for his role in Three Days of the Condor, holds the number 53 spot on Empire Magazine's list of the 100 sexiest movie stars. Interestingly, Redford's daughter, Shauna, was in a three-year relationship with Sid Wells until Wells' untimely death in 1983. The prime suspect, Thane Smeka, has been on the run since 1986 over theft charges. The initial grand jury didn't indict Smeka for murder, possibly due to district attorney misconduct. However, in 2010, a cold case investigation led to an arrest warrant for Smeka, which was highlighted on the hunt with John Walsh in 2014. On a different note, Russell Johnson, also in Three Days of the Condor, is best recognized for his role in the comedy series Gilligan's Island. Johnson and co-star Don Wells were initially referred to as and the rest in the show's theme song, causing protests from the other actors. 
After Bob Denver threatened to quit, the lyrics were changed to The Professor and Mary Ann, and their pictures were added to the opening credits. Robert Redford, an accomplished actor, is known for his role in the movie Three Days of the Condor. Interestingly, he is also the father-in-law of Eric Schlosser in real life. Moving on to another actor in the same movie, Russell Johnson, had an encounter at Builder's Emporium in the 90s where a clerk, recognizing him, asked if he was going to fix the radio. Lastly, John Houseman, who also starred in Three Days of the Condor, has a notable career. But interestingly, he has never appeared in a film nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. Oh, no, I'm in a phone booth. I'm, I'm just a block away. I'm in the street. You're in violation of secure communication procedures. Robert Redford, a prominent figure in cinema, has been honored with a plaque at the Henri Langlois Cinema of the Cinémathèque Française in Paris since February 2019. Redford's co-star in Three Days of the Condor, Faye Dunaway, released her autobiography Looking for Gatsby My Life in 1995, giving insight into her own experiences in the film industry. Meanwhile, Max von Sydow, who also appeared in the movie, has an impressive filmography with five films nominated for the Best Picture Oscar, spanning from 1971 to 2011. These accolades and accomplishments are a testament to the lasting impact and influence of these talented actors in the world of cinema. Anything in the early pouch? Headquarters at Lang. Robert Redford, known for his role as Harry Logabaugh in the 1969 film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, has had a successful career in acting. In 1975, he starred in the film Three Days of the Condor, based on the 1974 novel Six Days of the Condor by James Grady. The novel's time period was condensed for the movie, giving it the title Three Days of the Condor. Grady later wrote a sequel, Shadow of the Condor, but it was never adapted for film. In 2016, Redford was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama for his contributions to the arts and entertainment industry. He was one of 21 recipients, including Ellen DeGeneres, Tom Hanks, and Maya Lin. Faye Dunaway, known for her memorable role in Three Days of the Condor, was the first to receive the Leopard Club Award which recognizes film professionals who have left a significant impact on the collective imagination. She accepted this honor at the Locarno International Film Festival, making a rare personal appearance. The film's director, Sidney Pollack, employed a style reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock's work, leading critics like Chris Peachman of Time Out magazine to describe Three Days of the Condor as a neo-Hitchcock thriller. An interesting fact about this movie is that it holds the distinction of being the only feature film ever shot inside the World Trade Center. This unique location adds a layer of authenticity to the film's urban setting. It's a cover. I work for the CIA. Cliff Robertson, known for his role in the 1966 Batman film, played a villain alongside his wife, Dina Merrill. In Three Days of the Condor, he portrays a CIA agent. Faye Dunaway, who stars alongside Robertson, was ranked 65th in Empire Magazine's list of the top 100 movie stars of all time. In the film, Robertson's character, Higgins, and Wabash reminisce about a Colonel Donovan from World War II. This is a nod to William J. Donovan, founder of the Office of Strategic Services, the precursor to the CIA. Wabash's response, I sail the Adriatic with a movie star at the helm, refers to Sterling Hayden, an actor who served with the OSS during the war. Hayden ran the German blockade of the Adriatic to deliver supplies to Yugoslav partisans. These references add depth to the film, connecting it to real-world history and Hollywood. Happy here. Within obvious limits. Yes, sir. Obvious limits. It bothers me that I... Russell Johnson, known for his role on Gilligan's Island, had a surprising hidden talent. He co-authored a book revealing that the professor's experiments were scientifically accurate. Robert Redford, with four Best Picture nominations and two wins, including for The Sting and Out of Africa, has also proven his skills behind the camera, directing two Best Picture nominated films. Faye Dunaway, featured on the cover of Newsweek in 1968, had her photograph taken by her then fiance Jerry Schatzberg for the New American Beauties issue. The shootings behind the hotel in Sonia are in a complete mystery at this hour. The victim's identities have not yet been revealed. If you have memories and experiences related to the 1975 movie Three Days of the Condor, please share them with us.
This film has had a personal impact on many viewers and influenced their perspective on cinema. We would love to hear how it affected you. Did the story of espionage and conspiracy leave a lasting impression on you? Or perhaps the performances of the talented cast, including Robert Redford and Faye Dunaway, resonated with you? We encourage you to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. Your engagement helps us create a vibrant community of film enthusiasts. Let's start a conversation and delve into the enduring appeal of Three Days of the Condor. We can't wait to hear your thoughts. Is that a ski place? In the Green Mountains?